Hi, I'm Ariana, and I'm on the professional learning team at Code.org. I'll show you how to set up a classroom section in this video. Classroom sections are how you manage and organize your students, assign work to your class, and track student progress. In this video, I'll teach you about classroom sections, how to create and manage a section, and finally, how students can join and log into your sections. We recommend creating a separate section for each classroom or period you teach. First, log into your code.org account. You'll end up on your homepage called My Dashboard. Start by clicking on the Create a Section button. You can choose how students in your section log into code.org. Different login types accommodate various student ages and abilities. If you use Google Classroom or Clever to manage your students, you can easily sync your class rosters. Your students will sign in via Google or Clever. Your code.org account must be linked to Google or Clever to do so. For more information, click the Learn How to Connect Your Code.org account to these providers link underneath the Sign In options. Once you've successfully linked your Google Classroom or Clever accounts, you'll see an option on the Section Setup pop-up to sync your rosters. For Clever, choose the Clever Classroom from which you'd like to sync. Click the Choose Section button to continue. At this point, the roster of students from the selected Clever Classroom will be imported into the Code.org section you are creating. To use Google Classroom, you'll first need to authorize Code.org. Then, choose the Google Classroom you wish to sync from. Once you've chosen your sections, your rosters will be imported into the Code.org section you are creating. Edit your section details, then click Save to finish. We also have Canvas and Schoology LMS integrations. For more information, check out the video linked in the description below. Additionally, you have login options outside of LMS integrations. You'll see these options when you click the Create a Section button. Let's take a look at Picture Password and Secret Word login types. The Picture Password login uses a secret picture as a password while the secret words login uses two simple random words. For the personal email login type, students will create their accounts using an email address they can access and a password they come up with. After choosing a login type, you will be asked to fill in some details for your new section. When prompted, you can name your section and choose the appropriate grade levels. You can change these details later if you'd like. If you're ready, you can assign a curriculum to your section. We've provided you with dropdowns and categories to help you choose. If you're not ready, just click Decide Later at the top right. Finally, you can add co-teachers to your section by typing in the email address associated with their code.org account. Co-teachers can access your section and view student work. This is completely optional, and you can add a co-teacher later if you'd like. Once you're finished, click the Finish Creating Section button. You will see your newly created section at the top of your list of classroom sections along with the section code. If you selected Picture Password or Secret Word logins, click the Add Students button to add students to your section. You can add students one by one or add multiple students by clicking on Add Multiple Students. Your student's family name, age, and gender are optional. Next, let's talk about how students will log into code.org. For picture, secret word, and password logins, you can print cards with login instructions for each student from the top of the Manage Students tab, or print a single card by clicking on the menu on the right-hand side of the student's row. Students will click the Sign In button at the top right of the Code.org homepage to sign in with a picture password or secret words. Then they'll type in your section code in the section code box, choose their name from the list of students in the class, and either enter their password either by choosing it from the list of pictures or by typing in their two secret words. Alternatively, you can find a link in the section dashboard that will take your students directly to the page where they'll sign in. 
For personal email logins, students will create their account or reuse an already created account. At the bottom of my dashboard, they can type in your section code and click join to enroll in your section. For Google Classroom, students will click the sign in button and then the continue with Google button. For Clever, students must log into their account and click on the code.org widget on their class page. If you have questions about features you saw in this video or need additional support while teaching, you can click on the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to access additional support and resources.